Some monsters chase their prey. Others wait in ambush. The viper is a great example of the latter, as it will often hang around in trees or shrubbery, waiting to strike at an unsuspecting victim. This creature can be described as a very large snake, which shouldn't be surprising as the name is a viper. It is said to mainly live in swamps around the continent, from places like Broccolon Forest to the Blue Mountains. Vipers never really give themselves away. They will wait in ambush for their prey, and when a prey arrives, they will uncoil and strike at them with their venomous fangs. A single puncture through the skin should be enough for the venom of the viper to kill someone. But it is not just people they are after. Vipers and Kikimors are in constant dispute over territory, presumably. And whilst Kikimors can be found alone and in groups, Vipers are almost always alone, meaning that they would have to be able to fight multiple Kikimors at the same time, which would be interesting to see. I can imagine that for a Viper, other swamp creatures like Drowners or Water Hags wouldn't be much trouble, as they are pretty easy prey for them. But Kikimors are something different, for they also have toxicity, meaning that the Viper probably has to be pretty resistant to it. Vipers were first mentioned in the short story A Grain of Truth, which goes over the story of Nivellen. But what you might not know is that the Viper was almost in The Witcher 3. This beast was supposed to be a combination of a land-based and a water-based fight as this monster lives mainly around swamps. The water-based part, however, was very limited, as it mainly came down to the viper going underwater in the swamp to resurface somewhere else, which is a move several other monsters have in Witcher 3. The viper would have been a quick target that is able to spit venom towards the player. But what is interesting is that the creature is actually said to be immune to silver and instead, therefore, it has to be killed with the steel sword. This, therefore, might mean that they should not be classified as monsters, but rather as an animal, like a very large viper that just looks a lot more meaner. This monster and its smaller counterpart would go on to become the inspiration for the school of the viper. They would incorporate several traits of the viper in the fighting style, most notable being the poison and the dual wielding of blades, which in a way resembles a viper's fangs. But what do you think of the viper? Would you like to fight one of these beasts in a future game? Till the next video. Bye.